Thousands gathered across the country in support of Trayvon Martin just a week after a jury found George Zimmerman not guilty in his death. From coast to coast, people donned T-shirts, hoodies, and carried signs for Justice for Trayvon Martin, a National Day of Action Vigil. They want changes to self-defense laws and federal civil rights charges to be filed against Zimmerman. Two of those rallies happen in Philadelphia, and Jennifer Joyce recaps them for us. We are one! We are one! Standing as one, supporting Trayvon Martin. We're soldiers standing because Trayvon Martin cannot stand for his suffering. Right. Hundreds packed the sidewalk and street in front of the federal courthouse at 6th and Market Streets to send a message of unity and to inspire change within our society. The rally comes one week after a Florida jury found George Zimmerman not guilty of murder in the shooting death of unarmed 17-year-old Trayvon Martin in 2012. Zimmerman claimed self-defense. Now I have to have that conversation that no black mother wants to have with her son. How do you you walk down the street, how do you respond when someone is, is watching you? Lamont Anderson of South Philadelphia says people are too quick to pull the trigger. My son was killed five years ago. And thank God for the 17th District of Philadelphia cops, they did catch my son killers. Karen Belinsky is hoping the Trayvon Martin case teaches her daughter a life lesson. I just want my daughter to understand that this young man could have been my son. See, anytime things happen to people, it's our son. It's our problem, and we have to address it. Additionally, in North Philadelphia, people attended a rally at the Bright Hope Baptist Church. Here, an attentive audience listened to motivational words by representatives from the NAACP. I know that you're going to take this horrible, horrible outcome, this horrible, horrible verdict, and use it to turn it around to build a new youth movement around the loss of trade. Jerome Mondesire hopes he can inspire our younger generations to get involved and make a difference. In North Philadelphia, Jennifer Joyce, Channel 6 Action News.